Hey guys, welcome. Good afternoon, evening, morning, good day. Good, good whatever you got. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing good. Hello, France, Colombia, Slava, Slavic. Oh, Slavic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's it's uh. I was going to blame it on being early or being Monday, and I can't do either. But hello, India. We'll just move on. <laughs> well, so, I mean, it would be very early early for Monday, right? Mm -hmm. It's two days early. That's true. Negative 48 hours away from being Monday. Oh. Brazil. Welcome. Pakistan. Pakistan. Goodness. Rome. Okay. You guys are awesome. Everybody's got... Everybody has their mask on, their hand sanitizer out, and they're That's right. for saying socially distant. I don't think you can get socially distanter than halfway across the planet <laughs> via just, YouTube. Just try not to be try not to be emotionally distant. That's right. Connect that way. Emotionally connected, socially distant. Indonesia, Argentina, okay, well, Stefan, Norway, Rwanda. Mexico. Andrew's back from Dorset. Is wow. it sunny? Uh, he just said Dorset so, UK. He did not throw sunny in this time. So so I had a, a meeting with some of our, our London folk this morning, and they were all looked very casual summer attire. They said it's hot. So I didn't yeah. ask what that was, like, like <laughs> what hot means to them. It's in the low 70s. Well, they would have told you and you wouldn't but, have understood anyhow because they would have told you. In yeah, Celsius. it would have been like royal units instead of yeah. freedom units, and I don't know. <laughs> it's 13 crowns out. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Okay, I should probably stop that. Hey, guys, welcome. Welcome to Sketch. Ah, dang. I keep, I keep like wanting we, there to so be a title is, to this thing. So the problem is that we only want a title for this brief, like this 30 yeah. seconds at the this beginning on Friday, and then never yeah. again until the following 30 seconds on the next Friday. Somebody make a note. We even think about it again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, put see, that in my... Uh, see, Andrew said it's it's 37 degrees Celsius where he's at, and I'm like... All right. Ooh, hot, cold. hot. Just like... Great. Holy cow. <laughs> that's, nine, that's 99 degrees Fahrenheit. So that oh, is hot. Ooh, that's toasty. Yeesh. Welcome back, guys. Uh, if we haven't met before, good to meet you. My name's Aaron, and this is how we spend Friday afternoons. Uh, I hang out here with my buddy Jody. Hey, everybody. Hey, Sorry. Matt, I'm in his ear. Jo that's right. I'm like an this, earworm. This is what Jody looks like, you guys. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little pebble kind of thing. That's right. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, in sometime in the future, we'll be doing this back from the office again, and we'll maybe have a camera on Jody, so he's not just a voice. There'll be a little head somewhere on the screen that, like, you know. You know what we could do? I wonder if you can have like a custom bobblehead, like the, like a Funko Pop. Oh yeah. Maybe I can get a, a Funko Pop made of me, or somebody that looks similar to me, paint him to look <laughs> like me, and then we'll just set him on your desk. So you just need to go to the the comic store and. Check out, they have a, or, or the video game store in Longmont. They have a big wall of pop figures. They put them right here above the mouse. And just smack his head every time I'm getting frustrated with you. Every, every time a pun comes out, just slap little Jody. <laughs> nice. Nice sound of that. All right. So, uh, yeah. Do you, so, Kai's pointing out, is it easier for you to heckle being remote? Like, would it be would it be um, more reserved if you were like on the other side of the monitor and I could whip things at you? Honestly, I feel like I'm not any nicer or less nice with this anonymity because you don't it doesn't feel like I'm remote to you. I, I see your face there. That's true. You are genuine. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> and I have this this great angle where I can say things like you got something in your nose there. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow. Let's, uh, let's get this thing rolling. So we are going to today do some product modeling and electronics modeling, which is actually something I haven't done. I don't think I've ever done a printed circuit board model before. So this will be kind of fun. Uh, we did, we've written, we've written up about it before. We've had posts on it, that kind of thing. So 
Uh, I know there's a surprisingly large group of people that model PC components in SketchUp. Yeah. So this this is so I'm not this isn't uh, I guess unexplored territory. I just personally haven't done it. So we know we can do it though. Um, we are going to do in case you guys have not seen it. Uh, we do have a thread going in the forum. There's a topic, modeling a video card live is what we called it because <laughs> I made a lot I made a lot of sense to call it that, I guess. Um, focusing on the wrong thing, Aaron. Uh, and in here, if we come way down here, Kai posted all these pictures of a GTX 1080. Um, so there's some dismantled pictures, and then there's these another set they're real look like these real nice straight on ones um here this is the, this is the batch i downloaded so this was the group that that i grabbed i downloaded each of these images and uh, this is what i'll actually be modeling from so <clears throat> i'm pretty excited this is going to be fun because i want to try we're going to see i'm going to see how much you can do uh, i want to start with this part though this piece right here is kind of what got this whole thing kicked off was the idea of doing a printed circuit board and like the little pieces and then even zooming in and walking around full size like it's a city and seeing what that looks like so i thought that would be really cool um, just kind of added bonus would be this shell which it is kind of a weird shape um, but at the same time it's just triangles so i don't think this would be too complicated this is when you edit the video and flash back to me suffering and sweating and where i said i don't think it'd be too complicated but I really don't think this would be too bad of a model to, to do in 3D. Um, so we'll see. The part, so that, well, I want to focus on uh, getting this piece, the back, and then uh, you know this, this board right here done first. Once that's done, then we can try to put this shell in here. Um, I'm less concerned about this. This is basically a series of fins and a fan, so nah, not, too, not gonna get too hung up on that part, but. But this will be, be our first, first piece we will tackle. Um, and I did see the larger pictures. Tangle way down here at the bottom. Tangle put up some higher resolution images right here, uh, which is great. But they're they're not straight on if we want, and they're huge. They're they're, they're some very high res pics. Um, so they're good for reference. I don't know. I don't know if we'll actually use them or not. So. Oh, and whoa! How I still meta, say you just how I meta is that? I still I still say you just model your uh, model up a rectangle and texture it. Boom! We can do that. That too. way we can go do something. I mean, there's something fun. What's more fun than this? Good question. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> All right. So here, so here's the cards. Like I said, I, I grabbed a bunch of these images. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start by actually importing the the circuit board view, blowing that up real big, and actually using that as a physical reference. To, so actually model off of that. Um, uh, same with the end of the card. We can actually take the geometry directly off of it, and we can, we scale them, put them together, and then uh, we'll go from there. So I want to bring in that that card, the the image of the board itself, and blow that up as big as we can get it on the on here. So. I'm going to start with that. So I have just so you guys can see these are like it's they're the images I just down, I showed. Um, he did have an image which was a different card, but I thought this would probably be a good way to uh, scale this this out when when we get to that point. So then the other images I have are, are here. This giant oh, sorry heads in the way uh, giant picture that actual the actual board. A nice big picture at the end. That that's that's clear. Uh, and then we have pictures of the backside as well as the cover. So let's do that. Let's start by I'm gonna import the circuit board and just make it huge. We're not gonna not gonna worry about modeling to size at this point. Um, if I had a bunch of real world real size components already made of the different pieces that go on the board, that'd be one thing. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna be 
kind of I'm going to try to use components in groups as much as possible to, so I don't have to keep doing it, keep modeling the same pieces. But uh, I'm not going to get too hung up on uh, exact sizes of what they'll be when I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and start with an import. And I call this cardboard. Cardboard? Yeah, I enjoyed that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Smack your bobblehead. All right. Jono just popped up. He, he apparently, so I know, since I know what 38 degrees Celsius means, uh, he got to leave work because it's too dang hot for him to work. I want a place where when it gets up to 100 degrees, they're just like, go home. That's... That's courteous right there. <laughs> yeah. That's no, too much. The English are indeed courteous. All right. Here we are. Um, so there's a couple ways we can go through this as usual. It seems like that's usually the, the thing we end up with. Um, I So some people will go about it this way. Some people will actually take this image and explode it and then use this surface to you know, pull these pieces off. One of the advantages of doing that is it's kind of like photo texturing automatically. So if I, here, I'm gonna make a copy of this, stick it over here. And if I take this and explode it. So originally this right here is an image. It's a special kind of group that contains a single surface and that's it. Um, so, and the edges of course. So this actually isn't a texture inside the model when you bring it in as an image. As soon as you explode it, when I did this, what I created was a brand new surface with that image applied as a texture. So by exploding an image, you get a texture. And with a textured surface like this, now what I could do is I could come in here and I could do things like trace this square right here, pull it up like that, and I have a textured, uh, uh, material right there. So, so I could do that. I could go through and do that to all the pieces that are in here and, and create that texture. I don't really want to do that because I want to go in and like make this a component and reuse it. So I would rather have a really slick looking all white ready to be textured set of geometry rather than have do this. But this is a way to do it. This is actually a quicker way if, if you're kind of rushing through and you want to make something. And actually that's something I've seen a lot of Jody when I look at those images of uh, models that people have made of computer components. They'll bring in a picture like this, like a motherboard, and then they'll just go in and trace and push pull stuff, which is really cool. I mean, it, if you're just, just I got to get something that looks like a motherboard into this model, it is a good way to do it. Like it works. Yeah. Are we going to go ahead and model the bottom with all the welds and stuff too? Oh. You mean the, the, the knuckle sandpaper that... Yeah. The, the reason that you, that you will bleed while building a computer. Oh, it's the worst. Uh, By the yeah, way, you didn't turn on your, your second camera for me, so really all I'm doing is watching you gesticulate in front of a green screen. Oh, not getting to see I, I could probably modeling. share that with you. Hold Nothing. on one second. Jody wants to see what's going on too, guys. At first, I was just like, oh, he's, man, he's just really getting into explaining the process. And then you actually started talking like you were doing something. I'm like, he's not doing something. Ah, uh, that's true. All right. Now Jody gets a C2. Oh, I don't like this. Turn it back off. All right. No, I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, so having said that, I'm going to keep this as an image. I'm going to go ahead and add it to a layer called ref because that's what I do. Tag, 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 tag. That way I can toggle this on and off as I'm modeling. Isn't it, it's weird that you were so good about tag versus layer for so long. I mean, like last week and this week. Huh, it's just, I understand. It's been, I've been, been caged up too long, Jody. 2017. Oh, okay. All right. How's that? Is that believable? All right. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the top of this. Actually, that's pretty... That is pretty close to straight. I was going to go ahead and rotate it to see if I had to get it, but that actually looks, as I drag along that red axis, that's straight enough for me. All right, uh, I'm going to start by tracing the entire PCB. That's, that's cool guy talk for printed circuit board. And I'm 
just gonna. I said, I'm not gonna get Where did, terribly where did you hung learn up. About PCB? How did you get so smart? I just, I just, I can't help it. I just. You know, I'm trying to remember where I, I was looking at something. It may have been related to 3D modeling or making or something like that. And somebody talked about how they had a, a custom PCB made for a project. I'm like, wow, that sounds cool. So I, I did have to actually go find out what PCB meant at that point. Well, everything about that sounds cool, right? Having custom PCB is, I mean, it takes knowing what PCB is already, <laughs> taking the, uh, the custom part in there. Wow. Bespoke. It's a bespoke PCB just for this project. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something cool about not knowing what somebody's talking about. It's just, there's definitely some mystique that gets added when Somebody talks nonchalantly about something you don't have any idea what they're talking about. Especially if you can nod and, you know, make make gestures that look like yours, like, yeah, I understand what you just said. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. X, Y, Z, the PDQ. Yep. All right. Uh, are we, do we have units or are you just sort of winging it? You want me to go no. grab a video card? I think I've got one that's not. We're just, in, that's actually. We're going big because this is this is Laura right here, so this is about the size all of right. a, uh, a high school track. It's big. I guess as long as it's all the right, all the same scale, we can scale right. it to whatever we want later. Hey, Pablo on YouTube says his initials are PCB. So, you know, Pablo, aka Printed Circuit Board, as they as they call him in the biz. That's right. When you say the biz, it also sounds like you know what you're talking about. It does. That's a pretty cool thing to say. All right. So for these things right here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to stick a circle. And then I can take this, actually nudge it over just a, just a, just a skoosh. And I can option copy that. I wonder why my, I guess option doesn't show up on my, my keyboard broadcasting software. Okay, That's so an, here's an interesting little, little bit of trivia about the word skosh. Ooh, I like that term. A skosh is a, uh, is a small amount, little. It's actually a Japanese word from sukoshi. And it was first used in the 1950s. Here I thought I was just cutting corners. I didn't know I was being like... Uh... Fancy and international and stuff. I'll be honest. There are very few words that you know we've we've adopted that were actually based on Japanese words. Like if it had been, oh yeah, well this is actually Portuguese or Spanish or German, but Japanese was that caught me off guard. I'm trying to think of other Japanese sure. words that America has. Sushi. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll I'll allow it. No, like seriously, that's. I mean, it's it's a good point. Like, I'm trying to think of other terms that uh, you guys you guys can we think of that. That's, is there a a Japanese term you can think of that we use in English? And I'm not I'm not slighting anybody else's language. It just happens to be the one that we speak. So, all right. So we have. Uh, I'm almost ready to put some depth on this piece, but we do have a number of uh, holes in this card. So I want to go put those holes into the flat surface first, because if I, if I put it onto, if I give the PCB depth right now, then when I go back and put the hole in, then I have to push pull each one. If I go in and put these holes in now and delete them, then when I push pull, I'm all done. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to come in here. Throw in one circle, and then. So anytime I see that those holes, there's just so many. Look at all those little little pips, little soldery looking bits all around that. I'm wondering, yeah. why is there all that extra texture on there? What is that? What's going on? I don't know. Is that just so the screw can hold something when you 
when you mount it? I think so. I think it's just to get a piece to grab. Because remember the the covering on a isn't this almost like isn't it like wax or something? It's the the top layer that green stuff is not like oh it's added on later yeah yeah it's it's not uh, it's it's slick no, no, this may not later. be wax it's, but it's, yeah it's there from the beginning but it's and then that's what you're, they're etching away and I don't even know I've never had a custom PCB made so I'm really not uh, privy to the process so, so, sorry <laughs> just <laughs> I mean I yeah I some people are like that. Uh, I'm going to move this over and divide that by two. And then just get rid of this guy um, in the middle. Look at that. Holes are coming together. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And you notice I'm not actually trying to grab it by the edge and align it. I'm just kind of grabbing it by a location over here. And that way, if I move it up here, I can position it exactly where I want it. I'm not have to worry about snapping or anything like that. This one, I'm just going to move along the red axis there one more there come down the green axis this time uh, domo arigato from mr roboto you may recognize that song it was uh, sung by a little band here in the u.s known as sticks i have heard that uh, I feel like people drop feng shui, feng choi. That is Wait, true. Is that Chinese? Oh, that's Chinese. Never mind, that's Chinese. I'm sorry. I apologize oh. for being so Oof. uncultured. Yeah, yeah. But that's not that's not like an American word derived from a Chinese word. That's a straight up Chinese word, right? I mean, feng shui is not like we don't call it wishy or something like that that's based off of the term feng shui which is what i mean i'm going back to the skosh thing i assume that's what we're still talking about all right i think that's most of my circles it looks like i have one more little tiny one this one's smaller than the others but doesn't make them any less important okay <clears throat> All right, so here's what I'm going to do is if you guys ever get to this point where I have all these, there's one big piece and all these little tiny pieces in here. So what I could do is I could spend the next several minutes clicking, hit delete, click, hit delete. Um, I could use some select filters basically. So I could come in here and select everything, right click, select only faces that's going to turn all the edges off and then I could shift click this which will get me all those circles that'd be one way to do it that would take Tom Tom's selection toys which is an awesome extension and I believe everybody should have it but uh, if you don't have that another option would be this I'm just gonna come in here and click the main face right here and I'm gonna hit command C copy then I'm gonna grab everything and delete it, and then go to edit, paste in place, and it puts just that one piece back. So now I have, there we go, that's everything minus the actual holes, which I can then just take that and put some uh, depth on it. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna call that good for my board right now. I'm gonna grab it and make it a component. And I'm gonna call it the board. Called it. Wait, that's not the appropriate use of that. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna turn ref back on. Okay, so so here's a thing that I wanna point out. I intentionally push pulled this down. So the face of this board is at the top is at the picture, right? It's at the image. It is, however, kind of covering it up but here's the thing as I go in and we start modeling the different pieces that are going to go on top of the board I don't really care where this board is right I, I can actually select that let's go let's go throw that on a new layer called board turn that board off because I don't even need to have that none of that matters 
if I'm modeling this piece, I know the bottom of that piece comes down to the board, and that's really all I, all I care about. Um, so I don't need that on, because I'm going to put these pieces are going to go onto a separate layer anyhow. All right, having said all of that, You're let's... Save uh, yeah, let's save. Why not? <laughs> I had to stop and think for a second there. Uh, save? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't do that. I've heard of that. All right. Video card. Now then, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's dive into the board. Let's take a look at what this, what we got going on here. Mm-hmm. 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 I gotta get closer. Wow, there's some teeny stuff on this thing. <laughs> Um, that's some of these things are like, that's a blob of solder and that's like just twice as big as that. It's so small. Um, so we have to make a decision on how fine of detail we want or how fine detail we can get based off of, uh, an image like this. Okay. Like I'm hovering over a city right now, bringing you breaking See, news my, in the warehouse district. That was my original idea. So we turn off the texture, and then all of a sudden, this looks like you can do like cool Blade Runner fly-throughs. Like, it. hey, you had me at Blade Runner. Good. I, I like to use. I like to drop words that resonate with my audience. Okay, so let's start in the middle, because why not? So we got, uh, as far as I know, and you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start modeling stuff. If you guys see me modeling something wrong and can give me better information or point me towards like how this actually looks, um, I won't be offended. <laughs> so right here, I'm going to put in what I assume is a square. Yep, we're going to call that square. I'm going to turn x-ray back on. Um, so... This, this piece steps up a little bit, and then this piece in the middle steps up again. Um, so I'm going to trace this right here while I'm down flat. I'm going to come in here. See, this has some weird corners. I'm trying to tell if this is like all rounded or let's, let's throw a rectangle on it and see what happens. So Mr. Moran just showed up and said that he uh, was just thinking about modeling a Raspberry Pi yesterday. Look at that. See? And and somebody would, would suggest that they, nobody ever models PCB-based electronics. I, yeah, with it. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Yeah, I, you're speechless, I, it sounds like. That's, I, I don't even, I just don't know. I don't know. Actually, I wasn't paying mm -hmm. attention. What? <laughs> 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 that's the truth Ugh. okay um all right so i'm going to take this piece and i guess i need to come up with some sort of standard for how big things are uh let's see so that's six inches yeah i i could go i literally have a video card in the garage i just have to dump a box out to get to it and then calipers in the shop so i can grab all these things Unless somebody else has got that stuff already sitting on their desk, probably they do. With this crowd, I, I think true. someone. I think I. I, I think somebody did say specifically now, they had calipers. Who would the, have a calipers? <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, you know, I was actually thinking about this because I went through and what did I model? I modeled something, and. I was like taking measures up measurements of something in the garage and writing them down, bring up. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I just grabbed my calipers and my small tape measure, brought it into the office, set it down right here and just started measuring pieces I needed off of it. <laughs> and you know what? Perfect. It worked awesome. It was so much easier than eyeballing or anything. I'm just like, how big, how big is, okay. Yeah. That's funny. All right. Probably a good, well, yeah, probably a good scale is like if we just know the thickness of standard PCB and then we can scale this to that. That's true. Maybe. 
Yeah, I guess the, the idea would be how big would something like this be to the thickness of a PCB, but all right. Anyhow, I got a piece done. See, my problem with we'll making components is we have to name them all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wonderful. I'll ever have a point where you'll be able to swap out the actual GPU on your video card like you do whenever you put a CPU onto your motherboard. Well, there's no reason for it to be soldered in, right? I mean, that's that's possible. I guess size and weight would probably be the big thing. Yeah, lo lower profile. All right. Um, I'm just going to make these into groups because I really don't see a need to use components on this. Not with that attitude. Nope. All right. So you let's know, I'll bet you that every one of these pieces has a component in the warehouse. I wouldn't be too surprised. All right, so I'm going to come up here into the uh, the financial district of motherboard or of video card city, and I'm going to put a rectangle here and give it a little bit of a push. These are fairly low profile, it looks like. I'm going to grab those, option copy over to here, and divide by two. Oh, they're not evenly spaced. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, what is, did it say which which uh, particular GPU that was? Is that the 6600, 6800? 1080? <laughs> it had numbers. <laughs> no, just the, the chip itself, though. Oh. I don't know what's in the 1080. Let's turn the x-ray. It's NVIDIA. Man, what, what is going on here? All rights reserved. I guess they don't care what people think when they're actually inside. All right, so I'm gonna take well, each, fine. I'm gonna actually, so here I have a question. If I make this into a group, is this the same? Yeah, Looks okay. Like those three little guys over there to the left of that. Yeah, we got, let's check these ones. These ones look bigger, but maybe not. Whoa, whoa, heck. Yeah, those are all the same. All right. Um, is that it? It's just those seven, eight, or eight? All right. Take this. We know this is not the same. A little bit different. All right. And then I don't know why I deleted that after I moved it on there before. That's order of. Order. Yeah, after you had your reasons. Yeah. Weird, whatever you say, Because I was just doing stuff, apparently, with my reason. All right, I'm going to grab one of those. Since I don't really have a front or back, I'm just going to grab that, bring it over here. Awesome. Put one up here. Cool. Now, let's get into the let's get into the the uh, outhouses. Out structures. Out out outhouse means something different than outer structure. I don't know. Okay, stop talking. So it looks like this little guy right here we got kind of something like this. We're about to live Chris, lose Christopher to marble racing. Is it the Olympics? The marble Olympics? Uh -huh. I'm not sure if it's the Olympics or just racing. It does make me think, though, we should maybe do sometime whenever they're about to do a stream, we should throw one up where we're modeling a marble, marble run. Huh? I'm all for throwing up anytime you want. All right. That wasn't the part that I was supposed to zero in on there. Figure. Okay. So I'm going to call that that. Okay. And then I'm going to copy it right over here, down here. Right here. And one more right here. This this little fella right here looks like he's similar, but maybe a little wider. I'll grab that. Grab this section right here. 
make that wider. I'll make a copy of him, put him. Just made that float. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but it is on my board. Okay. Boom. So there we that go. Never work in production, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, keep shorting out every time I plug it in. What's the deal? Okay. <laughs> What's that smell? So here we got another little little structure here. Go a little taller with this, and it looks like. got like are these called what are so this one's real easy right because it's it's this is one of those bug looking chips we got the eight little things coming out are those called arms let me know what that's called what's the little metal part that sticks out the side of a computer chip to get soldered into the board pins pins i like pin i think that's right pin that sounds right pin so this looks like it has a two pins on the top and one on the front i don't know if that's right or not but mm. uh I'm going to do something about it. Pin. Don has confirmed, as Christopher Morin, that we are talking about pins. Perfect. Awesome. It's good to have confirmation. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to take these. All right. I'm going to take this right here i'm going to make it a component and i'm going to call it a pin or a peon Ugh. set component axes um i want to put it i guess that'll work oops okay i don't need to cut an opening but i'm not sure when that we'll keep it solid so now I should be able to come over here to my components, grab my pin, stick it. Oh, go ahead turn so I can see my, my insertion point right there. Slide that guy to right there and grab all that and make it a new group. All right, I think that neighborhood's done. I, I I can't tell what these things are. Are these just really teeny tiny versions? It looks like they might be. Just smaller versions of this. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna get monotonous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop into X-Ray, make a small version of this guy right here. Um, I am choosing to do all of this with uh, by moving geometry rather than scaling, um, just to prevent the distortion. If I don't scale it right by push pulling, I can keep my relative shapes the same size, and then won't, won't uh, scoot around as much. All right, so this little thing's just. I'm pretty sure this is just sprinkled on here. I don't know that these actually do anything. I think this is just to make it look like it's worth your money. Two of those there, two of those there, and two for you, and two for you. It is starting to look kind of cool. I, this is starting to look neat. Getting some texture. Sebastian called it. He said it's going to look so good by the end. Not to say that it doesn't look good now. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't want to imply anything. It's it's already out there. You don't have to worry about apologizing now. It is a nice thing about this is that I mean these are all, they are components. 
funny that you didn't create any name any of them components because there's so many of them. I know, and you know what? You know what? I, I'm you're you're right. I need <laughs> I need. It's already eating at me. It's chewing away at my insides that I didn't make any of these components. So I'm going to do it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, make these into components. Uh, and we're going to use an extension to do that. Wow, it's almost. I feel like I just set up, like. A component or, or an extension thing here that like anyhow it I wasn't intentional it wasn't intentional but i am going to do it so right now i'm going to select one of these groups and so i right click so when you select a group uh, remember groups are disconnected they don't know uh, they don't care they don't follow what happens in other groups sketchup knows though sketchup knows that i made a group and then i copied it seven times because when i pick the group it tells me right here there's a solid group and there's eight of them in the model. You really can't do anything with that though. That information is just there. But there's an extension, uh, which I think, it might be called group copies. Uh, it's from TomTom. Tom, uh, and it's it, right above your cursor. Yeah, right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's called group copies. What I can do is I can say select all. So it grabs all the versions of that same group and then I can right click again go to group copies and say convert into component so now if I pick this it tells me there's eight of these solid components in the model that I, is smart it does do the generic name which you know I agree you shouldn't ever do that especially now it's confusing because now it's a component called group so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to call this um, dude that that Tom Tom is clever we should hire him I'm going to call it a big black chip because, because, uh, all right. So then as we work our way down, we have these guys right here. Same thing. I'll just go ahead and grab, or here's the bigger one. This is the, the big teeny tiny thing. What was the group called? Or I mean the thing called, was it called? Group copy or there's, there's group a couple. Copy? There is, it might be part of selection toys. Jody's looking right now. He's he's going to hop onto Extension Warehouse. No, I'm not. It might be part of Selection Toys. There's another there's another one group to component, I think. That might be another one. Um, but he's going to look right now. No, Don, this is the GPU, isn't it? Not these guys out here. This one is this this as far as I know, like this one here with all the uh connection points for the cooler. I think that's the GPU, which I will make. M3, their memory. Okay, that's good to know. So I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make this is my GPU. So I'm going to put GPU on that. I will change these because you guys called me out. These would be memory. Now, here's my question now. What are these little fellas called? Okay, right here. What's this thing? Resistor? No, I'm not even looking at it. I'm, I'm in the extension warehouse. I'm just going to say words it, right now. It could be. Smart. That is a word. Okay, Maricone is saying it is part of Selection Toys. Uh, okay. He beat it's me possible. It. Tom Tom. Oh, it is a capacitor. Okay, so this, this is going to be... All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go group copy, select all. Gets all those pieces, and I'm going to say right click, convert into components, and grab one of those and call this capacitor. Large. This guy right here, I'm going to select. Same thing. Select all. Convert into components. Select one of them. Capacitor medium. And then a little guy right here. Same thing. Select all. Ooh, got a bunch of those. Component. So TomTom -tom has one called groups to components. So we'd have to get him on here to be sure, but I know that he had 
some of his some of his extensions include a bunch of his smaller extensions. So I think what he has is I think Selection Toys maybe had a couple pieces of his other toys or his other tools, yeah. okay. um, but I don't know that for sure. Oh no, they're resistors. <sighs> Fine. Well, yeah, I think probably maybe what happened also is is that it looks like selection or groups to components the date i see on that is 2013 so i don't know if he's yeah that's yeah well let me let me just look selection toys see if it what it says all right we got resistors i'm sticking with it that's what i'm calling it <laughs> uh it looks like there's a couple outliers right here too so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab this guy Stick him right there. Give him a little partner. Cool. It looks like I got some turned sideways right here. So let's go grab this. Let's flip them like that. And then just move right there. Right there. Okie dokie. So northern neighborhood is... Uh, oops, hold up. Got another car parked out front. That's what they are. They're little cars. <laughs> Drive this over here. So, look, some commercial buildings with cars and some trucks around them. Uh, let's let's head over here. It looks like we've got some of the exact same pieces. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab the. Oh, I didn't make this a. I don't know if anybody has any idea what these things are. What do you. That thing that you're pointing at there? The highlighted thing with three pins around it? Yeah. Somebody somebody knows. This guy? Transistor. Transistor. Why not? All right. Make it to a component. Call it a transistor. So, Sebastian, my suggestion to Aaron was that if he got done with this fast enough that he should totally create a fly-through to make it look like a city like that. So, I agree. Tron scene. I like it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of each kind. So, I got my transistor, my big resistor, medium resistor, and small resistor. I'm going to copy them with move. I'm just going to hit option copy. And bring it down here where I got some space. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to slide them into space like like that. And then I can move these little guys around. A medium guy right there. Ooh, I actually don't see a need for you little guy Move goes it. yeah just optimizing so a lot of uh, option copy in this process I'm 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 realizing There, got one. Let's see if I can rotate this in the proper place. I can't. Now I know that. All right. Sweet. Nope, oh, got some more cars over here. Oh, look at those little guys. All right, come on, guys. Some people parked on the back side of the building. You know, Tron is one of those movies that, great movie, loved it growing up, did not stand the test of time too well. It's one of those movies I look at, I'm like, oh, I just have such fond memories of it. And now I watch it and I'm like, it's, it needs that final that being, CG pass to clean up the uh, shadows or something. That being said, the new one is... I definitely like the newer one, which is, I think, 10 years old, so I, it's weird to say new at this point. Newer. You were right, you were right mm -hmm. before. All right. Did you watch the Disney sh show? I think it only did one se one season of it. I didn't. It's it's in my queue, which yeah, I think we talked about really this, good. how, how I just kind of 
kind of gave up on <laughs> TV for a while. Kind of trying to stay current. Oh man, just so much. Yeah. Stick that guy right there. All right, and actually, do I did see a some bigger guys down here. Grab you. Come with me, my friend. Nope, don't need the option. I can actually just move them. They look like they may even be bigger than those. Ugh, can't deal with that right now. Got to move some cars. Put that right there. So, how was your Friday? What'd you do? Great. I watched this guy move these tiny little boxes all over for about an hour and a half. Sweet. Yeah, but he was saying funny stuff and, and all kinds of... But yeah, what, where's the <laughs> educational part? Make it screw up something so you have to fix it and recover. Oh, don't worry. I, I'll, I'm i sure that <laughs> they'll just... That some things take care of themselves. Incoming. <laughs> Oops. One too many. I don't need that. Grab these three. Modifier key, stick them down here. Grab these two. Grab this guy right here. Oh, that's not gonna work. Go this way. There we go. Cool. Ooh, moving along. Oh, another car out front. Should probably clarify. I do realize these aren't really cars and buildings. Just in case you guys were wondering. I'm smart. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, nope, got to change, changed it up right here. Sweet. Oh, another, uh, another friend over here. you right there pal yeah I have totally forgotten what those were okay oh that's a number I was trying to figure out My eyes are going Weren't they going to make another Tron movie? Is that a thing that never happened? Uh, I mean, it definitely never happened, but I don't know if it was ever supposed to happen. Hmm. Maybe it's just that feeling of any, any movie that is potentially franchisable, I expect that from. Oh, that was close. Almost swiveled him right in his... Right in his I feel like I'm stunt driving. Okay. I think that's it. I think we're there. All right, let's uh, let's save. Two fingers. We'll command less. All right, let's see how we're. So the pins definitely ruin the uh, the building aesthetic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. It's coming along. Coming along. Um, actually, Did you ever, like what was that movie? It was like a. Gene Simmons was the bad guy. I think it was a Tom Selleck movie. Yeah, Tom Selleck movie. There were like little spiders that look like these transistors when they've got the pins sticking out of them, or capacitors, or whichever thing. Man, I gotta go look that up. Go look that movie up now. Gene Simmons. It was like from Kiss. Yeah, he was the villain. Huh. Tom Selleck was the was, you know he was some sort of robot. Oh cop. oh uh uh. Yeah, I can picture the I can picture the cover of it. Of him standing there with the a gun like this. you look at many times at Blockbuster. Yeah. D don't, ever, don't think I ever committed to renting that one. All right. Okay, so I just, just given the secret code how M is memory, uh, R is resistor, C is cap, L for inductor. Well, you have me till L. 
It's like, that's silly. Like, I mean, that's like using Q to represent rotate or something. What do you, come on, man. Okay. Runaway. Just runaway. Away. That's right. Because he goes and gets runaway robots. It's like, it was one of those movies that like spewed out after Blade Runner, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> whoa. Check that out. We, we got to get in on that. All right. So okay. what? Since I'm on his IMDb page, this is an interesting little tidbit is he did a, he was, he played as Magnum PI, like as a, his visiting part in Simon and Simon, which was again, somebody trying to make a show that was sort of like a different show. I had no idea Simon Magnum PI was, was a spin Magnum and PI. No, no, Magnum PI was the original. Oh. Uh, Simon Simon was, I guess, a spinoff. I don't know. Anyway, so C is the capacitor, U is module, Q is. Uh, what is this? This is a V? What's a V? What does a V do? Q is the transistor. V, L for inductor. I'm not seeing a V just called out yet. U? How about you? Could it be a U? I'm, I'm not seeing a V. I, this is what I said. Oops. U is module. Mark Jensen is, uh, is is MVP over here on the uh, on Facebook today. He's got all these. I mean, a lot of people have them, but he's managed to hit every single one. I definitely did not get those centered. Don Smith also has them. So yeah, this is a U or a V? Module. See this V module. Okay. I, no, I don't think there's. I don't think a V exists. So it must be a module. It must be a U. Okay. Yeah. No then we'll call this module. Do you have more of those? All right. Maybe. Probably. Something's going to happen later. All right. I'm going to grab a little car. There's one right there. Bottom mm. of your window. You three. Whoa. Oh, my God. Sorry. A little crazy there. Um, I did finally uh, upgrade my driver for my 3D mouse. So that was nice. And, and, did it fix everything? It seems to be working pretty good. Um, some of the issues I was having before with jumpiness seem to be better. Okay, that's good. All right, we got a three-legged guy here. No, a, I already forgot what they're called, dang it. Oh, what was O? O was, I should write these down on a little piece of paper so I can easily just find them again. Well, I called it a uh, transistor. It's a Q, that's not a no, it's, that's not a no, it's a Q. Oh, Q. Q is a transistor. Transistor, okay. Just felt like it looked like some kind of jerk messing that one up. Whew. I don't need help looking like I'm a glad. jerk. I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, yeah, me too. All right, looks like I got a couple. Ah, oh, man. I like it better when circuit boards are green. It's hard to see some of this stuff on black. This may be dust, but I'm putting a resistor on it. Okay. Looks sweet, looks sweet. Over here, we got one of those big guys. Where's a, I need a big one. Yeah, that's definitely bigger than that. So, are these ones that big too? Yeah, they are. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, I wanna make some of these. So I put these three and this one right here on. So I have four selected. If I right click and I say make unique right now, it doesn't just make the one I'm clicking on unique, it actually makes all the ones that are selected unique. And it doesn't make each of them unique, it makes these four into a new copy of the component. So I'm gonna say make unique, and then right away I'm gonna come over here. See now I have four components selected, and it's resistor large, and I'm gonna call this X large 
and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pull this through, make it bigger. Double click here to pull through the same amount. There's my extra large resistor. <laughs> it's going to be three seconds to forget what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Whew. All right. But you did a lot of talk in between then. The I did. Words said out loud are, they like, they use up extra memory that is normally fine if you're just thinking it. That's true. All right, I got a question for this crowd. Wait, I got to count first. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. So I Mark am, suggests. Oh, uh -huh. right. Say it. No, you go. No, you. O's are banned. They look like zeros. Is that what yeah. you're say, Mark said? Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Same reason, probably, why you don't have an I for something, because it looks like a sideways minus sign. An L. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I mean one. All the above. Okay, what are you going to say? You're going to ask the question? Of the well, crowd? I was, yeah, I was going to ask. I don't know if this is this is the crew to ask, but uh, we're here modeling an extension or a video card, so it's relative. But video game players on the line, what are you guys playing? Uh, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm done right now. Don't have a, currently have a game to play. Well, so tomorrow is August, and you're going to have a bunch of new stuff on Xbox Live, right? That would be nice. I mean, is, is that how they do their... I don't, know how, I don't know what Xbox does. They roll out stuff pretty regularly on Game Pass. They just churn it out. All right. This one looks like it's... Oh, it's a U, though. But it's different. Why do I have a feeling that when this is all done, I'm going to have like the same part labeled one, two, three, four, five. Anyhow, okay, so I'm going to make this one unique again and change it from a transistor to a module. We'll call it module two. And I'm going to come in here, grab this leg, move it over. Cool. But I really do want an answer. I mean, yeah, Sebastian, I'm with you. I am, oh wait, Ashes of Creation. I was thinking 2077. User ICs. I don't even know what we're doing anymore, apparently. All right, what about L's? What's this big rusty looking thing right here? Ooh, a whole new thing. Uh, I'm going to just model. Oh, goodness gracious. A comprehensive guide to PCB component codes. Prepare to oh, have your man. mind blown. As soon as I see the word comprehensive, I, I tend to sh start shying away. <laughs> it's a bunch of not single letters, though. God darn it. An L. It's not listed. There's an LPI, but that's probably not it. Inductors or L's. Inductors. What does an inductor look like? Who's got a picture of an inductor? Oh, goodness. Because looking at it from above, I think I nailed it. But sometimes there's profile views that don't always agree with me. Ooh, that's fun. If you squint your eyes like this. Sorry. <laughs> I have a tealish cup, and it's, it's green screening itself out. I think it would be really good green screen tech if you could see the liquid inside. <laughs> that's, that's fancy. All right, so this guy uh, over pictures here. Pictures when I look up inductor are not what it looks like. They're all copper wrapped around a magnet. Oh, so is it like a thing? Yeah. At least in the olden days, 
Oh yeah, okay. So it basically is just a block. Oh yeah, but it's taller, right? Like Yeah, like they basically have a coil probably it's probably a coil around a chunk and then maybe it's inside of a metal composite just be from messing with it or to, to mitigate some of the heat. Yeah, Mark said it's a coil of wire inside of an ironish case. All right. Well, based on that brief description and my not wanting to do any more work, I'm going to say I got that right then. No, it's not a not want to get work. It's it's a want to move on to new things. That's what it is. There you go. All right, how about this guy right here? What is a uh, C? Wait, wait, or did C, right? No, C? I know what this actually looks like. This is a capacitor, right? I'm right, I'm right, tell me. I'm not gonna say you're wrong until I can find proof to support that. Capacitor, C is capacitor. Yep, it is. Woo! And I know exactly what this looks like because I've actually put these into things. I've actually soldered this up. It's just, it kind of looks like that. Soldered it up when you were making your own bespoke electronic device? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It was a, it was a spark fun project. We had one of those books that tells you to do stuff and you put it in the breadboard and then yeah, it's fun. Bread. All right, make this a new new component. All right, we're, we're moving along. This is this is getting sweet. Let's see. <laughs> Capacitor, aka water tower. Nice. Okay. Yeah, stop doing that. I'm gonna ruin the final fly through if I keep doing that. All right, I'm gonna grab these two little guys. Spoilers. Oops, I just grab one or one. I'll grab one. Oops. All right, I'll grab that one. Drop it all the way to here. One, two, three, four, divide by five. So yeah, I'm waiting on Cyberpunk 2, but I think that's like September. Yeah, there's not a lot of games that come out in August. Yeah, but it's a whole new paradigm, Jody. They've said so on the news like a hundred times. We're in a different world than we used to be. Paradigms. <laughs> These are... Uh, Unprecedented times, so. Unprecedented? I know, right? Ooh. Nope. nope, uh, nope big nope. games for 2020 August. Uh, so it's, let's see if how many of these have I even heard of. Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout? Nope. Fast and Furious Crossroads? Mm, nope. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn's coming to PC. I don't even know if that means. Play that. That's I'm awesome. Game. Let's play it. All right, so uh, these these things two. right here, these are the I believe the HDMI ports, because uh, I think there's like four HDMI ports on here. Um, not sure why they're different, but we'll do that in a second after we model the end. So I'm just gonna come around here, get this stuff right here, and then holy cow, look at all so oh boy, I gotta start doing this faster. Yeah, some of us have a schedule to keep. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so uh, remember I was talking about how we maybe it'd just just be fun to just whip yet? out that that other view of it or the front or the back or something. That's you know, it might not happen. What is? Uh, did we figure out what D was. Did we ever? Did you ever ask that? Uh, yeah, and in your case, it stands for duh. Duh. Why don't you even know that? <laughs> no, I don't know what I mean. Jeez. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time to be accurate now. I got to get stuff done. Stop bugging me. <laughs> You're going to heads down mode. Sorry, I'm not going to talk for the next 20 minutes. I got to get this done. Jody's got you. Whoa, look at all these. That, this, couldn't you? Holy crap. One, two, three, Do four, they look five, five, six, six seven, spaced. eight, nine. Dad gum. That's a lot. See, this is where like my, me being creative starts to fail is whenever I get to a system, uh, like a position like this that has a, uh, it starts to get tedious, and I'm just like, eh, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, uh, all right, we got a new piece. What's a Y? What's a Y do for me? 
I gotta scroll back to the bottom just a minute. These are diodes. Diode. I think I just called it a diode. Let's, let's just throw an E on there. Mm. Okay. Um, that's funny. My my back when I was doing cool. production design I'm work on here. on buildings. Uh, I was working from home and my wife was watching me, and I was putting windows in, and she's like. I could never, I could never do this. It's like, it's so monotonous. I'm like, yeah, it was a, it was a hotel. So it was <laughs> just the exact same window and it was, nothing was even, they were all just slightly off. Oh, it was, it was but, uh, oh. yeah, there's definitely, uh, some monotony in, uh, design projects. Why is a crystal? Don and Mark both said it. They are our de facto experts wow. on the matter. Why did I call it a diode? No, D is diode. Oh. I was going to keep up. You're doing Ds right now, aren't you? You're no, I was talking about this right Y now. up here. Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't, that's, a, that's a crystal. I think it would look better if it was like all, you know, like looked like a new agey kind of crystal. <sighs> I'm just realizing something. I'm going to oh, go back, no. take my main image and lock it. So <clears throat> you can't lock an image actually. So a single image by itself can't, I can't just click on it and lock. Um, so I can do a couple things. I can explode it and then make it a group and lock it. Or uh, I can, that was the wrong thing. I can group it with something else. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, uh, Laura in here with my image and then I can lock that. That's just so I don't accidentally select it and move it around like I just right, did. You should save. Hey, you cool. should save that. Okay, I found a good list. It's got them all. So the next all time right. you say what is X no could X is a oh it is a good example. It's a fuse holder. Mm. I don't think I have a fuse on here. Have you ever well, had to replace the fuses be... in your video card? <laughs> just a minute, I gotta get my soldering iron. <laughs> Ugh. Years ago, at the beginning of my computer support experience, I worked at Best Buy, and we did, there was no such thing as the Geek Squad back then. Mm -hmm. And they, literally, if you were just on the sales team for computers, then you were also a tech person. So people would be hauling in their big ass computer, plopping it out, just sitting on the on the on your desk, and then you're fixing stuff. And here's how you fix things. At least back then, at Best Buy, is you just Pull that one out and you go and get another one off the shelf. <laughs> you, there ain't nobody soldering nothing. I like that. I think that's probably still the case. Um, so I'm going to throw this out as a question to everybody. I have a habit and I've, I've noticed this about myself. I try to pay attention to what I'm doing. You know, try to find, like, how can I improve my workflows? And watch, I watch what I do sometimes. Uh, something I tend to do is rather than use the component browser over here and grab what I need and put it in, I'll go search around in my model to copy and paste it. You guys do that? You guys drop it in off the browser or do you go hunt it down? What, once my component list is as long as yours, i.e. as soon as I have to scroll, then, yeah, I'll start. Because okay. I can visually, I can be like, I know I use that component over here. But if I have to go like move over here and scroll up and down, that makes sense. For that. But that's just me. That's you all over. All right. I have no idea what I'm looking at right here. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, L, L, is that an L next L? Week yeah, maybe an L? LB? It's not LB? Nope, I don't see anything that's an LB. LS is a loudspeaker. Uh, I'm 90% sure it's not a loudspeaker. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not sure. I'm sure-ish. You know, it, there is... Oh, wait, hold up. There's a picture on the forum. Oh, it's so tiny. Of a uh, isometric view of the board. Kind of get an idea of some heights of things, but it's all so tiny. 
I can't tell what that is. It's a, it's a pair of inductors. Oh, yeah. If you oh. look at it, you can see. Inductor yeah, yeah, yeah. and inductor, okay. and they're just kind of sitting on top of a little brown board. All Boom. Right. Thanks, Mark. There you go. All right. We're about to get to that the back lot here. Got another U here. What was U? U was a, oh, a uh, board. Oh yeah, it's it's. I got I got one of these. I got one of these. Right here. Don't even worry about it. Oh, it's so much smaller. Oh, how am I supposed to work with this? And you need to, yeah, flip it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, what can we do to make this more entertaining? Please, tell me. Somebody, uh, tell me. Probably song. <laughs> sing. Yeah, sing what you're doing. No, no, not me. I was saying. What? Somebody sing no, for me. Work. Yeah. I didn't check out. No, probably not. Yep. Mm, extra large? I'm trying. I'm... Slapping down uh, resistors over here. It's no big deal. We need a small. No problem. We got smalls. Boom. Like that. No big deal. Um, all right. This right here is a, uh, a C. Is that an L? Is it another L? Uh, yeah, that's an L. I don't know what L was. L was an inductor. Of course. Indictor? Duck. Oh, don't make jokes about ducking and type at the same time. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, do you want to replace the one you already made? Nope, because that's inductor two. Another inductor's oh, good. different. Just make a bunch of unique components with a number after them. <laughs> it's not really, you're not improving over the whole group number one, group number two. Nope. Model. All right, so I got a C over here, which is a big capacitor. Look at the size of this thing. <clears throat> it's got some unique geometry. So for right now, it's going to look like this. Big capacitor. All right. Moving on. Uh, I'm wondering if I can scale one of these down to this size. Mm. That's not quite what it looks like anyhow. Nope, get out. Looks like it only has, oops, there we go, stick a pin on it, option copy, divide by four, and that is a new, what was you? <laughs> she you was a module. <laughs> a lodge pole? M module. Module, okay. Module. I have, I have to say module. That way you don't hear the J in the middle and misinterpret. Module. All right, parking more cars. I have no idea. There's so many resistors inside of 
a graphic card. Um, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to throw one of these on top. All right. Almost done with this section. So were you getting around dinking around in your computer in the days when you still had dip switches? You had to like get in there with a little, yeah. little needle and switch. Oof. That used to be that how you bad news. adjust your, your BIOS and everything. Bad things, man. Bad, bad things. All right, so, all right, let's 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 just let's just do this. So right here, I gotta see. I'll put this in the middle. I'm gonna click here, shift, and then find the middle point. And then. go and I want to pull this up a little bit and then I'm pull this piece up more there we go to get that kind of a shape and the C of course is a uh, Hold on. Can let you struggle for a moment? Capacitor, of course. Yeah, there you wow, go. Wow, there's a lot of capacitors. Okay. Yeah, these newer video cards have a lot of capacity, so they need capacitors. Is that this how it is works? a high-capacity video card, right? I'm just going to silently model over here because I don't want to get involved. All right, so I'm going to take that one, put it here. Divide by two, divide by three. <laughs> oh, numbers. Okay. Same thing, move this one over here. Grab it, option. Woo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Divide by seven. All right. Super sweet. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it looks like this was pre-soldered, this right here. And actually all these things right here, looks like they were pre-soldered and then this card didn't get the capacitors that needed to go here. Or capacitor thief. One of the two. So, what I'm looking at here is a lot of really clean piles of solder that whenever, if I were the guy that was going to be assembling this thing, these mm -hmm. are not, these are not uh, representative of the old piles of solder on the things I solder. <laughs> you have ugly blobs instead of good looking blobs. I solder like I weld, which is to say I somehow managed to ruin pretty metal. All right, so Sebastian doesn't really care. He wants to see Goop get drawn. <laughs> so let's do it. So get Inneroth's, get Inneroth's um, stone wear down thing and just put a, just a, a road. Yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to do for it. Um, I'm going to make pretty blobs. My blobs are going to be fairly nice. I'm going to come around here. I'm going to draw a circle like that. All right, now I'm going to grab this. Follow me with my half circle. Get rid of that. And now I'm going to take this and use scale to squish it. So 
So Mark says that solder is usually left on the pads to prevent oxidation of the pad. Is that because they use the right. same PCB for different versions of, of cards? Is that the idea? Mm -hmm. We'll wait for Mark. I want to know why Mark knows all this. What the heck, Mark? Two, two questions for you, Mark. This is Mark on Facebook for all you YouTubers that are just like, who's Mark? You don't know Mark. All right, so I'm just going to kind of ding this up a little bit by just grabbing some of these points and scooting them around so it doesn't so don't quite have the perfect circle. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted said, to do. Yeah. Mark agreed with your assessment, different versions. Nice. Not, not just the pretty face. Not just or not a pretty face? Whatever works for you. You do you. All right. And there's my solder blob. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'll name right it back. such. I'm going to make a component. I'm going to call it my solder blob. Uh, I am going to go ahead and make it uh, face the right way, though. There we go. Oop. Missed one. All right, and then if I draw a line right here, that should give me a backside. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, yeah, looks good. All right, so there is my little blob of solder. And take that, copy it over here, copy it over here. And what I'll do for these ones where they're a little smaller is just use scale to deform them. If I use scale on the outside of a component, it doesn't affect the other components. So I can just grab these and change them on the outside however I want, and it's not going to affect my existing pieces over here. All right, that looks cool. That's neat. That was a fun thing. <laughs> all right now now we got to put in our r22s you know maybe an r33 if it oh yeah we'll put one of those in too um it's labeled r33 but it has what looks like an l so that would make it a leesister i don't know what this is I'm going to call it an L33 because that's, that's what it is. Um, and I think what I'll do on here is I'll actually go grab my solder blob. There we go. Copy it to this side. And there we got our little solder pieces. I can't resist this, so I got to come in here. I got to explode that. <clears throat> Intersect faces. There we go. I can't just leave a group with a bunch of other junks in there. I, I can't do it. All right, so I'm going to take that uh, R33. I'm going to copy it over here. Holy cow, they're the exact same size. Well, forgive my mislabeling, but I'm going with it. This card is filling up. So it looks like we just have a ton of open spots down here. Oh, and it looks like every one of these, every other one of these, these actually look like they're got a chip here. We'll grab one of these fellers, bring them over here. Take that. Uh -huh. Divide that by three. All right. So many blobs of solder. All right, I'm going to come back to blobs of solder later because 
I gotta park some cars first. Whew. Those actually look like they're, they might be mediums. Oh yes, I got, I got an eye for this thing. Just gonna go here and look at our numbers, see how many people you've lost with the, uh, the copy and paste fest that we got going on here. Oh my gosh, I had no idea this is how it was gonna work. Three up there, three up there. Grab these two. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, the same thing over and over again, isn't it? Yes, if it is. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is correct. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. This is definitely one of those projects that feels like, like if you're just doing this on your, your free time, very much a labor of love. Yeah. I don't love this like that. <laughs> it's just labor. It's a this labor. Is just, this is just labor. All right. I'm gonna throw this over here. Oh, they're bigger. Dang it. Kind of thinking of a uh, actually the, the if we're if we're gonna leave the little blobs as they are, I'm not gonna model those little blobs. We're, we're actually pretty close right now. I want to get into and do that end of the car. That looks like fun. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna run out of time to actually put the the fancy cowling around the whole thing. The thing that makes it go fast. Is that is that what that does? That's a turbo booster. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's just aerodynamics. <laughs> what it's for all right uh yeah yeah okay um mm -hmm. grab this good bring one here oh the other way around and shrink them again if i was more concerned about like getting a parts list or something like that. Probably slow this, this process down a little bit, but right now I kind of feel like I just got to get stuff on the card. Looks like we have a repeating cluster here. So I got a medium here. I got a small here, small here small here and small here. And I think I can grab these five pieces, copy them from this point to this point, this point to this point. Oh, we're close. This point to this point. And a little bit of, scoot that one down here. Scoot that one up there. Pretty much a valet at this point. Slide you over here. Slide you over here. Grab you and you. Slide you right here. All right. Cool. Ooh, one more of these. Flip it. All right. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, we know this guy. I know this guy. Where you at? Uh, one of my first. Things I made. Oh, there he is. Transistor. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Let's see if I can rotate that into from here. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> you know something's good whenever you laugh at your own successful uh, movement. 
Oh, if it wouldn't hurt my shoulder, I'd pat myself on the back. What the heck? Ow. Pat myself on the top of my shoulder. Yeah, that was not as... Oh, look at this weirdness oh up here. Oh my goodness. Sebastian's getting kicked out of the room. He's asking about your modeling the little divots. What divots? <laughs> a little more attitude than I intended. Sorry about that. What divots? What were we talking about? Uh, I don't know. Maybe all that stuff to the right edge of the picture. You see all those little things that look like... Yeah, smack in the middle of the black spot. Oh, these? Near? Yeah. Easy yeah. answer. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't know what this guy is. Do we have the picture? Do we have a picture of the other side of the board to see how much stuff is over there that we're not even looking at? No, they have a beautiful cover that goes over it. So. Oh man, why did they just put a cover on both sides? <laughs> oh man, Jody, you need to go into product design. <laughs> yeah. Cover that crap up with some plastic. What everybody wants. All right, this is the ugliest parking lot ever right here. I don't know what's going on. Um, all right, we do have some, we have some fun things here, like like this guy right here. It doesn't have, oh, it does have a code, a J. J, what does J stand for? Plug. I buy that. And plug. Power plug? Wait, which one is that? That's to get power to it for the fans. Or is that for an external fan? I don't know, but when you said J, I couldn't find my push-pull shortcut key because I kept trying to use the J key. <laughs> Where's my any key? <laughs> I'm going to draw a line across the middle here. I'm going to grab that line. J. and J is for connector. Divide it. Connector, comma, jack, comma, female. Must be short for Jacqueline then. Exactly. Obviously. Oh, somebody get this guy another hand to pat himself on the back. Seriously, if you just stand behind me and take care of that. I'm building you another arm just so you can pat your back. Or right. just for high fives. There we go. That works. Isn't that, isn't that what she did? Gage? Right. That was one of her, uh, her lines in the Borderlands 2 mo mm, game. I'm going to see if I can copy that because we have another one right down here. Okay. You should really have made that one into a dynam dynamic component so that as you make it wider, it automatically puts more pins in it. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Yeah, I didn't do that, did I? Grab that. Um, whoa, that's actually pretty close. Let's get rid of that one. Take just this one pin, slide it over to there. Option copy to here, divide by three. Oops, you know what I just did? So you're asking for that learning opportunity. I just edited a component which edited the original no. geometry I copied because that's the thing I at least, do. At least you figure that out now. That's true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, inside the component, I'm just going to grab all of the stuff and hit Command C. I'm going to come out, delete it. Actually, now I can delete it. I'm going to start undoing it and hit Control Z a bunch. So that goes back. There we go. Now I'm going to delete it and edit paste in place and take that and make it a new component, which I will call Jack2. There we go. All right. So we have those two jacks. These pins actually need to be below. They do not stick up past. Yeah, that's just, that would be a, that would be bad design. <laughs> be ridiculous. Who would do something dumb like that? One, two, three, nut it. Ah, oh, dang it. 
Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, um, looks like one of these kind of. Fit there. A bunch of little cars to park, but I'm seeing if we have any other major geometry, major pieces we could stick What's in here. What's that gray guy next to the uh, the little can? Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing you're about to do. Never mind. You got it. Great minds, great minds, and ours, and ours. All right. Oops. Make it unique. And come in here, and I don't have a solder blob on this half, so I'm just going to get rid of that, get rid of that. Cool. Um, oh, another one. There's one over here. Oops. I just did the thing. I'm obviously getting frazzled because I just did the, I grabbed it by the top and then moved it to the bottom. That's not how you do that. There we go. And some of these guys, there we go, divide that by two. And then, I don't know what this, this is, I'm confused by this, but I'm just going to make up geometry here. So it looks like a really tiny iPhone. I don't know. Could be. It could be. That is a, a little rocket ship, 32, an R, is that an R? R, there's one up here too. I don't know, we haven't talked about R's before. Resistors, right? Oh, maybe we did talk about them there. We're gonna call this the iPhone resistor, because I appreciate that you made that comment. I'm gonna throw another one right here. Um, oh, hey, whoa. It does look very cool. Um, yeah, but it is wearing on me. So how many of these things, when, if you went to, say, if you were just visiting the uh, NVIDIA plant and you wanted to see how one of these was made, is there some lady with a hairnet on soldering every one of these things in place, or is it all with the robot? Like, how good are the robots at getting down and soldering all these little bits? Probably better than you or me. Uh, yeah. That's not saying anything, though. That is true. That's Some things go without saying. Not here, though. We say all the stupid things right out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's almost like there's not a filter between the brain and the face. There is sometimes a filter, though. Mm -hmm. When I your promise. wife's around? Well, even when I'm talking into this microphone. Oh. You might think that I'm very unfiltered, but I'm actually you're, probably you're... worse. I guess what I'm suggesting is I'm worse than I sound. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you're pop filtered for that matter, right? That's right. Pop, pop. <laughs> All right. Did you watch Community? I did. That was that was good stuff. Yeah. Why say I, something original when I could say something said from a previously watched show or movie? That's right. Pick and place machine. So I've seen the I've seen the robots like do the pig in place, but I haven't. I guess I'm I'm trying to think if I've seen them actually do the soldering. I guess it makes sense. The little chip picker uppers are pretty cool to watch. They're wicked smart. 
being able to pick them up in the right orientation and plop them in the exact spot. All right. Take this rectangle and I'm going to make it into a square. I'm going to take all the geometry and I'm going to copy it on the middle. No, I'm just making it simple. Draw a line right there. Grab it all, spin it 90 degrees. Because it's a square, it should all line up. Then I have this chip, which has pieces coming out on all four sides. This one, these ones, ah, oh, I just did the component thing again. Oh, my brain. Control Z, 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 control Z. This one up here actually only has it on two sides. Pins, pins is what I'm talking about. Only pins on two sides. Then we can edit. Paste in place. <sighs> a U is a uh, a U is a module. Module. U four. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm uh, pretty close to being happy with the amount of stuff yeah. we have on here. I think we're, I think we're reaching a saturation point in the uh, chip placement enthusiasm. Uh, yeah. All right. What else we got? We, we throw one of these right here. Um, this is a big guy. This, this, I think this is probably another. Uh, Port of some J. sort. It's a J. I can see the J from here. Is that a J for Jacqueline? Oh, that's right. Jacqueline. All right. I'm going to turn on my board so I get this right up against the edge. All right. I'm going to pull that up like that. I'm going to throw one pin on here. And it's not going to be the right size. It's not going to be the right scale, obviously. Um, but that one, I'm going to scale up. And then, again, if I just deform the outside, I don't have to worry about the other copies getting messed up at all. All right. There's a bunch of these little cars parked over here, but uh, I'm going to ignore that parking lot. And I want to model the front of this piece right here. So here's what I'm going to do. Look like gonna... a bunch of J's. Right? What? I mean, technically, they're jacks. They're... So they would be labeled J on the board. I didn't make Sorry. a component of this. Is that what you're telling me? That's what I heard. Wait, was, was that? When, when I, I was I was speaking about something completely unrelated, but yeah, sure, that's also true. Jody's no, over no, no, here the, talking the in PCB end, speak. That's that's the rest of the day. That's how I'm going to talk to my wife is just in uh, one and two letter codes. You don't have a kid named Jack, do you? Because that would that would really be cool. I know you don't have a kid named Jack. I don't think I do. It's a crazy world, man. All right. So over here, I'm going to start with that. Now I'm going to come go like that. I'm going to grab all that, offset it mm, that much. We ain't that close. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it did. Do I have x-ray turned on? It did close. Okay. That gets me the profile. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab that, make it a component. What are those called? Are those called shields? What are those things that slide into the slot things called? That's going to be called a face because I'm impatient. And <laughs> I guess it sounds like a good name to me. <laughs> I'm or going face plate to or plate or plate. I think that's that's it. Is that what? It, anyhow, uh, I'm going to import that end image. There we go. I'm gonna take this over here. Grab it by the red axis, rotate 90 degrees, and then I'll take it. It looks like it actually folds over itself too there. That's fancy. That's, that's how you know you're you got a high-end video card. Ooh. Let's see how close we are to scale. Not quite there. Not, okay. not seeing any nice rough edges, which would be the second reason you should come away with bloody knuckles from this process. Oh, man, no kidding. I just feel like the insides of computers are just like designed by smart guys to punish you for not being as smart as, I don't know what, what the what the reason was, but. All right, I'm gonna take that now. Where am I facing? I'm facing everybody. Take it out to there. The other edge out to here. Let's turn x-ray and just like I did on the other piece I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of this and actually no I gotta come out of context shift it down so that this component I'm working on at the face is at the same height as uh, that there we go now I can come onto this out of the top edge and start tracing some of these lines oops in context. That. Um, I'm actually going to grab that and use it. This way I get the exact same angle and put it there and slide it over. Do that again here. Rotate over 180 degrees. Slide it over. And one more time. Okay. And then right here. Oh, Leo's wondering what model this, this is. What is this? This is a uh, GTX 1080. Is that right? That sounds right. Sounds right. That's right. All right. There we go. And now, actually, I can do this. Double click to put that same angle on all four of these. And just push pull that down. And I have that shape cut. Um, and I'm going to, ooh, so we have a, uh, Sorry, three display ports and one HDMI port. I'm not going to worry about that, though, because the part that I'm concerned with is, there we go, uh, these sweet-looking vents. <laughs> let's, let's go grab a polygon. We'll go to three sides. I'll click right in the middle that out to right about the right size there we go and then I'll use angle again to knock off one corner oh. 
Why won't that let me? Okay, fine. Be that way. Because I have a polygon, I can just rotate that pretty easy. There we go. Get that shape. And now, I'm going to start making this pattern. Copy it over once there. So I can say 4x. And now, that's about the middle. I'm going to grab those five, rotate them on the green axis. Option, flip it over like that. And then let's just grab all of those. Let's do this, actually do this first. I'll get these other ones in here first before I, I do that. Flip them around 100 and, oops, come here. 180 degrees, please. There you go, and I'll position this first one. To get the same spacing, what I'll do is I'll go from the middle point of this one, option, to the middle point of this one. That way they're on the same space, and I can type 5x. To flip it over then, I will grab those six triangles and rotate them on the green axis from that same line that I made that's in the middle. So I don't have to do them all at once. As long as I use the same references, they will line up perfectly. So did you, did you figure out that little center line hack thing on your own or did someone else do that and you're like, oh, that is brilliant? Uh, actually, I didn't really think about it. I just started doing that just now was was it brilliant well no you've done it that way before with oh. like putting a center point when you know things are going to go along a yeah i like a, several pieces like that yeah so right here for example too I'll just grab that uh i just you know i don't know where uh that thing came from but uh man it sure does make it easier all right i'm going to take all of these now I'm going to grab it here, this middle point here. Ooh, nope, that doesn't, it does not, it's not even. So we're going to take it and move it over here. And then we got one more here. I'm going to move it over. And before I go through and start, uh, cutting this out there's a couple modifications here it looks like we got take that line slide it over here move this over Let's zoom in here there we go and then I can delete some of these pieces Again, this is, well, this is actually kind of, this one's a weird one because uh, the way these are all meet is, uh, it's not quite as, as uh, it's going to be cool looking, but it's not as simple as the other ones we did on the other side. These ones get cut as far as holes. I'm sorry. Can't, can't talk and it's too late. I did. T I parked too many teeny tiny cars. That's the problem. It's all falling apart now. A little uh, PCB valet. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? gonna keep cutting not all these vents go all the way through well it looks like it actually does go through okay all right about there and 
know what? And this guy right here looks an awful lot like this guy. So let's go bring him over here. See if we can't. There we go. All right, so now, unfortunately, because I made this shape beforehand, I don't have a simple like time saver for this. So I just got to double click on each of these holes to push them through. I could break the geometry out, but I think that may be just as much work the other thing I had to watch is because I have faces going two different directions, I'm not worried. I'm going to right click on it and orient faces as soon as I'm done. But I do have uh, some going, some faces up, going up, some faces going down right now. So my double click is going to take me one direction. So I want to make sure I double click on the white faces first. And now for the gray faces, I'll have to manually offset that or push pull that first one. Because otherwise, I. I do that at the beginning, it'll come up instead of going down. All right. And with that, we are just about there. Oh man. Don't try to talk and push pull. Screwed it all up. So tricky. There we go. All right, and now I can just right click and say orient faces. So that's what we got so far. Uh, we don't we don't say orient anymore. We say Asian. Thank you. Not going there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come in here again. I'm going to put a rectangle right here. And this time I'll do this. This this repeat. So I'm just going to drop that all the way through. And I can grab that geometry like that. And bring it down here. Mixed results on that. Sometimes the, the holes like that will cut through. Sometimes they don't. But they will probably leave that face behind. So let's delete that face. All right. Last couple pieces here. I'm going to put in. I'll start with the rectangle. Just knock that corner off. that bring it down here right to here Do another one Just using this as an inference inferencing over inferencing over at the bottom go like that and I'll take that this is where you like to use rotate hop into that green red blue blue plane green red blue plane because I, I forgot that I'm not I'm not actually working off of a this the this orientation was actually flipped up the other way when I created it. All right, one more tangle here with a couple of right, and we'll take that through. That is a cool faceplate for a card right there. And if I come worth over the price of here, even though I modeled it separate, see I have this here and I can move that up to, where's my card? I gotta get my cardboard, my board back on. Board is a little, a little shy. Move the board out. Oof, we're close. We're close. Now to model these so ill-defined things. Ah, oh, traffic ray. 
Turn off the board. Oy, that would be this monstrosity. Whoops. Hold up. Didn't cut. All right. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something that just kind of covers up all this space. And we'll come up to about whoops oh no I drew that in the context of the end card wrong thing all right sorry about that let's get rid of that get rid of those lines there there we go all right come back out of context and try that again We'll do it this way. This is one of those where I get the feeling that this thing right here is something we could model in detail by itself for a couple hours. I'm going to make this a component and I'm going to call this display port Jack, I'm going to take that option, copy that down here and here. I'm going to copy one over to here, uh, over to here and make it unique and call it an HDMI Jack. HDMI jack <laughs> third tries a charm hdmi just a jack I'm, I'm and then i'm going to click out of there and then hit k to turn off my back edges right. so those are those four pieces this part i'm not a hundred percent sure what else going on here um I know that the DVI port is somehow going into here and coming down to the board, but I don't really know how. So um, I'm assuming it's something like this. goes up over the top and I'm sure it comes out a little bit this way and this way too. And that ho that hoses that hoses the uh, DVI port. Uh, right over here I'm going to come in here. I'm going to just trace the shape of the hole in the end card. Offset it. And then I'll pull that out. Let's go look, let's go peek over here. Actually it probably doesn't come out very much, but All right, that's going to be my display port over here. Same thing. I'll trace. Oops, got to go in context. Trace this part. I don't know if I can use the same. I'm going to try to use the same values. Oops. There we go. If I offset, it, no, it won't offset the same amount. So offset, click here, drag it down to here. Offset again, down to here. Pull this out, inferencing to here. Push this piece back into here. And then I'll take that, offset that down to here. 
and then pull that back out to here. So even though a different shape, but we got the same general, they're, they're ugly looking ports, but no, that's not too bad. Not, not too bad. Um, DVI is something totally different though. DVI, I'd probably come over here. We'll do a quick rectangle like this. We'll pull that up like that. Um, offset that, and then what we got here? A little rectangle right here. We'll push down in there. And then we got a series of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by three grid of squares. Um, I'm just gonna start with the square. Two X, that'll work. And those. Seven X. I'll push one of those down and then again, double click, double click. I guess I could have modeled this down low and then pulled the face up. That would have been my way to save time on all the double clicking. Is there an extension for group push pull or push pull all or something like that? That seems like that should be a thing if it's not. Is that different than joint push pull? Yeah, joint pu well, I don't know. Can you Can you use joint push pull on more than one piece? I genuinely don't know. So there's an extension called multiple push pull. Sounds like it's going the so right it's direction. Prefix multiple faces. Oh, wait, no, somebody's asking. That's a question in the forum, not a post from the extension from our house. Oh. <laughs> hey, they had the same question we did. Yeah, yeah. All right, slap. Bloop. There we go. Oh, nuts, I merged it. Oh, there beans. We there we go. Now I'll slap that back on the... You know, now we could probably try and what's the best way to squish this back in there? There we go. Super sweet. Whew. Okay. All right. Uh, that off, turn this on. Get rid of this reference up here. Ooh. Oh yeah. Sebastian saying it's your your HDMI is messed up. I'm over here trying to watch a video on Oh no. Right. <laughs> Bad things happen. Uh you had too many, you said you had too many selected. Yeah, I would agree. Well, how did this end up in here? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. See if I can save it. Grab all this just like I did before. Grab it, Command C to copy, and then start the undo train. Undo, 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 undo. Keep going until that goes away completely. There we go. Now I can say edit, paste in place. And there we go. Oh, so close. I have, to, I have to say that paste in place is one of my favorite functionalities that I did not use forever. I, it's a weird one because, yeah, I don't think I used that for years and years and years. And then I figured it out and I use it <laughs> constantly. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's up there with undo, which actually apparently they're using tandem like I just did. All right. Um. 
One more piece that's bugging me right now is this right here. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put the proper geometry here. Have you ever played with Scale by Tools by Alex Schreier? Scale by Tools? Yeah. Don't know that I have. I mean, maybe he just made it, in which case, because the date on the Extension Warehouse is the 2nd of July this year. Holy cow, it looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, I just got random tools from him not too long ago, and that was, that was a pretty sweet tool. Um, so what I have here, this, this piece not only cuts here, but it actually cuts back into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to option pull this out this way. And then I'm going to swing around. Okay, see through this little window? There it is. I'm going to grab that face and pull it through like this. Pull it through like this. That. All of that. Intersect face with selection. Then I can get rid of this. Nope, I just have to cut this. This is a, this is a lot like stitching. That's got to be gratifying for you. It's, it's not that much like stitching. I'm not getting that much out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I could have made a solid and used solid tools to intersect that and cut it out, but uh, at the time it seemed like that would be just as easy. What do you, what key did you assign paste in place to? Uh, I have it shortcutted on here. I think I have, let's, let's look. What's your normal paste is? Option V. Option V. Yeah, so Command V is my regular yeah, paste. I haven't mapped it yet, and I feel like that, every time I go to use it, I'm like, man, this should just be mapped. I should just have this on a key. That's true. I said that a lot of times, and then I finally did, <laughs> did something about it. <laughs> All right. Cool. That completes my geometry there. Oh, turn my board back on. Ooh, there we go. That's pretty sweet looking. All right, now. It looks pretty much like it. I mean, needs a big ass fan. We're sitting at two, 215 though. Yeah. Yeah, we spent a lot more time parking cars than I was expecting. Speaking of which, let's fly through. So we can go through one of these holes. <laughs> Bastion said no more or the fly through will be just a bunch of still shots. Aww. Now we need some sort of like there. Electro Ooh. electronic music though. I know it's not. just some ambient just yeah. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Good. That's good fun. Got a couple blobbies on there. I'll post this. All the components are in there. So if anybody wants to take this and uh, fill in the parking lot up here and just scale down this blob and put the 750 little squirts of solder on there. All these guys. Look at Flip that. Flip it upside down. Look at all that. Flip it upside down. Not yeah. all the other screws. Don't forget the, the other chips. blood spots on the other side if you do that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. With, with the, seriously? Yeah, You're telling it, me all this couldn't yeah, be done by one piece? Oh, sorry. Worked up. Worked up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> okay. Let's get this thing scaled. How about that? Um, so I have an image. Let's 
let's take a little, little peek at that image. And it's not the exact same car, but it's the same family. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's about the same size. Uh, here, we could do this. We actually do from here to here, 111 millimeters. That should be the same. So I'm going to draw a line right here. I'm going to scale that. 111 one, one millimeter. Yes. Let's go check it. See, see what happens. Oh. Lock that. I'm going to grab, I'm going to go in here into this group that with my turned off reference image. Grab Laura, command X her, put her back where she was, and then right click on her and reset her scale. Oh, Laura oh, stepped on the video card. <laughs> so, yeah, that looks like it's about right. Yeah. They are not small pieces of electronics. Especially you know, once you get that like card in there. three pounds of fan on there. It also takes up two slots, so that's a big guy. That turned out all right. That's kind of fun. That's uh, that was that was a lot. There's a lot to that. I'll be honest. That was a lot. It was, <laughs> and it wasn't all as exciting as as I was hoping. I was you so know, sure this was going to be ex exciting from start to finish. I'm with you. I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I didn't realize there's like actually just there's like 13 pieces in there. They're just repeated over and over again. Yeah. So what I learned was. I will never model any sort of PCB electronics in SketchUp again. And here's Jody saying, yeah, let's do a motherboard too. <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight. That did not have it. Yeah. No. No. Cool. I mean, my reasoning was, was still valid, right? I was yeah. just like, it's only going to be a handful of pieces. It should be quick. It's just the tricky part was the fact that he had to do a bajillion times well and, and to be honest i mean we have yeah there's probably twice as many as little resistors up up in that corner we need to put in and the blobs of solder if we added that it would add to it but realistically if i come in here look at this model grab my statistics that's not a huge model it's not it's not a crazy ridiculously heavy model there's only thirteen thousand faces on here that's that's not a big deal 500 component instances made up of 31 different components. So, not it's not nuts. Um, it did make me. I gotta. I gotta admit though, like looking at some of the stuff, I, I wanted a blown up picture of like this port because I really wanted to go through there and model some of that detail. It looked like really cool stuff in there, but you just couldn't. You couldn't infer any of that from the the picture. Oh, and it looks like. This guy right here kind of looks like this in real life. I'm taking that off of uh, the actual uh, image. One of the images Tengel posted. So that's actually more what that looks like. I saw he was in here briefly, but I'm not sure if he stuck around. Yeah, that was, I got to admit, that was not a riveting model. It's kind of it cool. It's a soldering model. It's, hey, it's neat to look at. Yeah, I mean, I believe, I believe Sebastian said it early on. It was, yeah, this is tedious, but at the end, it'll look really cool. Yeah, it does. It's and definitely nice looking. Here we are at the end. Let's, so let's, uh, let's do this. Cool let's, let's, I'm going to get into a cool view. I'm going to save it. I'm going to come over here to my styles. I'm going to make a couple changes. I'm going to turn off edges. Nope, not edges. Profiles. Ooh. So they're all the same. So that gives uh, profiles are neat because like on a bigger model, it really does give some depth and outline. It's kind of cool. But if you got something with a lot of little details, turning it off actually makes it look model look a little cleaner. But the other thing I want to do is I'm come in here. I'm going to throw some shadows on here. Let's see. Get, get around from the other side. 
Ooh, look how moody it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a cyberpunk city, right? That's not a happy thing necessarily. Hmm. All of our buildings are so short. Ugh. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Just, I'm playing now. But yeah, that was a fun model. It was, it was all right. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think it turned out real good. Nice job, Aaron. Thanks. boy. I'm hungry, though. Yeah. It's probably time to take a break. Go eat. All right. Well, there we go. Like I said, I will, uh, I will take this as it is. I'll throw it up on Warehouse. So if you guys, anybody really just feels compelled <laughs> to copy a couple hundred extra resistors, I'm all for it. Go ahead. Do that. Throw it, <laughs> throw it up into the forum. <laughs> If you don't feel so compelled, I understand. I think I got carpal tunnel just, just, just due to resistors. <laughs> just around. So, oh. do you think that your three D, your space mouse was worked to your advantage in this case, or was it not really? Yeah, you didn't yeah really I, mean, flip I think so. Down, so. I think so. I mean, it, and it, okay. it honestly is it coming in here and moving through through these things like this. It, it definitely is uh, makes it easier for sure. Um, definitely. A nice option to have. I'm gonna go fly through the big over here real quick. I'll just see if I can fly through. Woo! Yep. All right. Yeah. So there we go. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out. If you hung out the whole time, you're super. Uh, yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna put our heads together. <laughs> we're actually go through your list. Last last time I asked if you guys had ideas you thought would make good models, and this was one of them. But then we had some other ideas. Uh, Jupiter rocket, Atlas rocket, two rockets. Draw Epcot, draw a boat engine. Uh, the motel and the hill house from Psycho. That might be kind of fun. Yeah, so there's some there's some more cool ideas. As always, throw your ideas up now. If you have an idea you think would make a cool model, go ahead and mention it in the comments, and we will uh, put it on the list. Um, also, you can throw stuff up on the forum. We check there on a regular basis. So love your ideas. Love making these models, but. As I always, like them a lot more when they're showing something that you want to see. <laughs> I just bumped my laptop and knocked the HDMI out. If that's not <laughs> if, if that's not a sign, yeah. All right, it's, it's, it happened. It happened at the right time, at least. Yeah, we're gonna head out now. All right, you guys. Everybody, have a great weekend. Have a great week. See you next time, hopefully. And uh, thanks again. See you guys.